welcome to this very special day. It's special because for the first time in forever, Elsa and I will be celebrating the Arendelle Festival. Oh, I'm Anna. Hi. Now I'm honored to introduce to you the Arendelle Royal Historian. Hey! Hi. And uh, I am Sir Eric. Woo! Sir Eric! Wait, wait, Eric, when were you knighted? I'm just Eric. Oh, <laughs> thank you, just Eric. And what a better way to celebrate Arendelle than to have the royal historian share the story of our kingdom. And our queen, who just happens to be my sister, Queen Elsa! Yes! Woo! I've been waiting for this moment for so long! don't know. Oh. Have any of you seen my sister? Well, she's about so tall, blonde, kind of keeps to herself. Oh yeah, and she has these cool icy snow powers like pew, 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 pew. No? Oh, I know. Hey, Elsa, do you want to build a snowman? Yeah, that never really works. Oh my, what are we going to do? It's almost time for the festival and Elsa's missing. Kevin, Anna, one's right. already here. Anna, oh, it's almost as bad as that blizzard. Well, almost. Hey, it's okay. Yeah, princess, we've got this. You go ahead, find your sister, and we will share the history of Arendelle. And everyone will sing all the songs, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, that sounds good. Uh, well, I best be off then to find my sister. Okay. I'll be back. All right. Elsa? Elsa! Eric, are you ready? I was born ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes! Okay. <laughs> Citizens of the Kingdom of Hollywood Land, we proudly present to you the story of Anna and Elsa. We also cordially invite you to join us in the singing of any of our Arendelle anthems. Follow along if you don't know the words. I got a feeling they already do. So where should we start? Let it go, let it go. No, 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 no. <laughs> in your pocket and save it for later. What were you thinking? At the beginning, where every good story starts. It was a dark and stormy night. It was not. <laughs> it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. <laughs> it wasn't. Where should we start? It was a beautiful day in the kingdom of Arendelle. And there were two sisters that loved each other very much. Princess Anna and Princess Elsa. Now Princess Elsa was different. She was born with special powers. Magical powers that created ice and snow on the love lane with her sister's magical snow. Well, until one night, something terrible happened. Elsa yeah. created a monstrous snowman that rampaged the Oh, wait, 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 Eric, you're jumping ahead again. Let's back it up. Okay. Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, stop there. <laughs> Six feet, please. Oh. <laughs> Elsa hit Anna with their magical powers, freezing her head. And the king and queen rushed Anna to the couple of the trolls. And if you don't know what a troll is, consider yourself lucky. They're mischievous creatures, strange magic, and I've never been a fan since one of them rolled over my toe. Squished it. This piggy used to go to the market. Where's he going now? Nowhere. <laughs> Eric, uh, Grandpaddy, the king of the trolls, fixed on his head, though he removed all memories of magic. Listen to me, Elsa. Your power will only grow. There is beauty in it, but also great danger. You must learn to control it. Fear will be your enemy. They decided it would be best to keep Elsa's powers hidden away from Anna. And then the saddest thing happened. No more snowmen. No more snowmen. Can we do the song? Yes, yeah, so please remember to keep your face covering so I can. Okay. <laughs> Elsa? Do you want to build a snowman? Come on, let's go and play. I never see you anymore. Come out the door. It's like it's gone away. We used to be best buddies, and now we're not. I wish you would tell me why. Do you want to build a snowman? It doesn't have to be a snowman. Oh, wait, Anna. Okay, bye. Started talking to the pictures on the walls. Hang in there, Joan. It gets a little lonely. All these empty rooms, just watching the hours tick by. I'm scared. It's getting stronger. Take them 
sunset only makes it worse. Calm down. No, don't touch me. Please. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, yeah, but I aced philosophy of a goofy movie. <laughs> well, it was time for Elsa to become queen of Arendelle. What about her snowy powers? Exactly. She was so afraid that her powers would show and she'd be cast out of the kingdom for forever. All the while, Anna was dreaming of the possibilities of opening the castle doors for the first time in... Thanks, I forgot. <gasps> it's coronation day! <laughs> it's coronation day! <laughs> The window is open, so's that door. I didn't know they did that anymore. Who knew we owned 8,000 salad plates? For years I've roamed these empty halls. Why have a ballroom with no balls? Finally, they're opening up the gates. There'll be actual real-life people. It'll be totally strange. But wow, am I so ready? Because she does meet someone tall, dark, and dreamy. Don't say it. Prince Hans of the Southern Isles. Woo! Yeah! Boo? Yeah. This is my boo, thank you. <laughs> hey, boo. He's not that good looking. What? Okay, you're just jealous because he's dreamy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What a man, what a man, what a man, what a man, a good man. Yes, he is. Or he's a scrub hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride. <laughs> okay. Well, you kids don't even get that, okay? <laughs> he's dreamy, look at that face! <gasps> Come to mama, baby! <laughs> Conceal, don't feel. Because it's coronation day, the citizens of Arendelle and dignitaries from all over the kingdom have gathered for the royal coronation. Elsa was nervous, but she was able to hide her powers long enough to be sworn in as queen of Arendelle. And then they party! Yeah! Ice, 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 ice baby. baby. Bum, 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 bum. And there was chocolate, the sister's favorite food. And it was weird, because Anna and Elsa didn't see each other much anymore, but they thought tonight that might change. That Prince Hans showed up and they danced the night away. On, Han? Yeah, don't you just love true love? I do, and this is not true love, they just met. Oh, you don't know anything about true love, because a wise woman once told me love is an open door. She also said, wear your face covering. Okay. <laughs> I would never shut you up. Okay, can I just say something crazy? I love crazy. All my life has been a series of doors in my face. And then suddenly I bump into you. I was thinking the same thing. Because, like, I've been searching my whole life to find my own place. And maybe it's the party talking or the chocolate fondue. <laughs> but with you. But with you, I found my place. I see your face. And, and it's not the time. Yeah. <laughs> 
mean, it's crazy. We finish each other's sandwiches. That's what I was gonna say. I've never met someone who thinks so much like me. Jinx, jinx again. Our mental synchronization can't have but one explanation. You and I were just meant to be. something crazy? Will you marry me? <gasps> Can I say something even crazier? Yes! Yes! Woo hey! <laughs> oh, see Eric, true love. See Aria, no one agrees. <laughs> Queen Elsa said, and I quote, you can't marry a man you just met. And as Princess Anna said, and I quote, you can if it's true love. But none of this matters because everything's about to change and has nothing to do with true love. You're right, Anna does push Elsa too far, causing her to throw ice all over the ballroom. Everyone called her a witch no. and a sorcerer. Why? And she impaled someone. Yeah! No, she didn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah! Souvenir. <laughs> okay, regardless, everyone was scared. Not as scared as Queen Elsa, despite Nihilus bleeding, Elsa raced across the fjord, freezing it in the process. Sending our beautiful kingdom into a cold, dark curse. This was beyond cold. It was frozen! Get ready to let it go! Don't let go of those face coverings. <laughs> A kingdom of isolation And it looks like I'm the queen The wind is howling like this swirling storm inside Couldn't keep it in, heaven knows I tried Don't let them in, don't let them see Be the good girl you always have to be don't feel, don't let them know Well now they know Let it go, let it go Can't hold it back anymore Let it go, let it go Turn away and slam the door I don't care what they're going to
Let it go. It's a good thing because there's gonna be a lot more snow, okay? Uh -huh. Princess Anna feeling like the whole thing was her fault. Can you Because it was. <laughs> um, and then she went off to find her sister in the blizzard, that's right. That's it, she did. She yeah. traveled all the way to the top of the North Mountain. Or Elsa. We don't want her to miss the Arendelle Festival. Not that I remember. Yeah, I think you remember seeing the Queen of Arendelle. Uh, well, do me a favor and keep an eye out for her. Yeah. Radio, Mr. Reindeer King. <laughs> it's just Kristoff. Well, well, speaking of reindeer, where is Sven? We almost didn't recognize you without him. Well, Sven found himself some carrots. Cool. Hey, I was thinking you're going to be kind of a big deal. I don't know if you're in the market for a bodyguard, but I can show you my resume. Bam! <laughs> Need some references? Bam, bam! Special skills? One tenth of a splits. <laughs> Very impressive. Uh, you know, I couldn't help overhearing your story. I did help Anna a lot. Without me, she would have never made it to the North Mountain. And besides, you totally liked her. Yeah? Oh, wait, didn't he like her? That had nothing to do with it. It was a blizzard. Lots of ice everywhere. I sell ice. You see the problem? Mm -hmm. I had to help Anna. To save my business. He had to, is what he tells himself because he likes her. Yep. <laughs> I have to get back to Anna. I knew it! And find Elsa before the festival. All right, Kristoff, everyone! <laughs> you know what, Eric? He is kind of dreamy, too. Guys, don't you think he's dreamy? Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Going around a lot of dreamy. Yeah. Never call me dreamy. Because you're just like an elf. <laughs> You know I have low elf esteem. <laughs> okay. All right, Anna, with the help of Kristoff and Sven, made the long, cold journey to the North Mountain. They navigated through the dark woods, where wolves attacked their Sven. Werewolves! They're just wolves. Standard wolves. And they lost Kristoff and the Lackard sled in the process, because it exploded. Like sleds do, so they continued on foot. They came across a beautiful glen filled with ice and snow. It was very romantic. And that's the real hero of our story enters an awesome talking snowman named. Oh. He loves warm hugs in summer! Oh, I like summer. How do you not love this guy? Summer? <laughs> oh, I don't know why, but I always love the idea of summer and sun and all things hot. Really? I'm guessing you don't have much experience with heat. Nope, but sometimes I like to close my eyes and imagine what it'd be like when summer does come. <sighs> be is the buzz, kids will blow down the lion fuzz, and I'll be doing whatever snow does in summer. A drink in my hand, my snow up against the burning sand, probably getting gorgeously tanned in summer. I'll finally see a summer breeze blow away a winter storm, and find out what happens to solid water when it gets warm. And I can't wait to see what my buddies all think of me. Just imagine how much cooler I'll be in summer. The hot and the cold are both so intense, put them together, it just makes sense. Winter's a good time to stay in and cuddle, but put me in summer and I'll be a happy snowman. When life gets rough, I like to hold on to my dream of relaxing in the summer sun, just letting off steam. The sky will be blue, and you guys will be there too. When I finally do what frozen things do in summer, I'm gonna tell him. Don't you dare. In summer! Love that guy! Oh, it's not to love. He has such an amazing voice. And he loves summertime. Summertime time. Time, time Eric, we're running out of it. We gotta hurry up and finish this story. Okay, go faster! Oh, no, no, Kristoff and Sven make it to Elsa's ice castle on the North Mountain. Elsa sends on a way 
freeze in her heart. Accidentally. Yeah, when she learns of her adult phase. She sends Marshmallow after Billy Kristoff and Anna almost died, jumping off a cliff, but luckily the snow softens their fall. This is what we learned that Olaf has no skull and no bones. I don't have a skull. Or bones. <laughs> Anna's hair starts to turn white, so Kristoff takes her to see the love expert. The trolls, but it's too late. Anna's getting colder by the minute, and as Grandpa, he says, Only an act of true love can thaw a frozen heart. So he's British? Yeah, he's a Rolling Stone. Okay. Anna and Kristoff race back to Arendelle to find Hans so we can melt Anna's heart with true love's kiss. See, true love! Oh, well, that's going on. Hans got a group of men together to capture Elsa. Not a cool move, dude! Anna makes it back to Arendelle and they find Hans who leans in with a kiss to save the day. When? He laughs in her face! He laughs in her face! Hans is the bad guy? Oh, yeah. He leaves Anna in a room to freeze to death so we can take over the kingdom. Hans is the bad guy? Why? You sleep the Arendelle History 101? Okay, first of all, that class was virtual, okay? <laughs> and the screen was constantly frozen. Oh. <laughs> Elsa escapes from prison fight to run across the frozen fjord, but Hans is in hot pursuit, and Olaf comes to Anna's rescue. Olaf helps Anna realize that Kristoff and not Hans is her one true love. Then back in the frozen fjord, Anna's running. <laughs> well, shuffling? Oh. Right. <sighs> And then she sees Hans about to kill her sister. Oh. She's standing there in a place of torn. What to do? Does she save herself? And does she save her sister? What to do? What to do? What to do? What to do? Eric, what to do? Oh, that was a cue? Yeah, the, oh, yeah, okay. you got it. Get on that side. All right. Um, Olaf saves the day. Olaf stops Hans and he uh, kisses Anna. Go with the dance, right? The awesome talking snowman is the act of true love that can thaw a frozen heart. And everyone lives happily ever after because. Some people are worth melting for. The end. Cool. I need a cheer up. All right. <laughs> Ooh, look. Oh, uh, hey, Anna. <laughs> Christoph. Hello again. Uh, did you find your sister yet? Oh, uh, well, we're uh, still kind of looking for her. What's going on? Well, it's getting cold in here. That can only mean one thing. Oh, I hope so. Then we can really celebrate the Arendelle Festival. <laughs> And that was a very good story he told, though the ending felt strange. Well, Olaf did help a lot. Anna, you saved our whole kingdom. It was you who saved your sister and yourself. In an act of true love, will saw frozen heart. You're my sister, Elsa. I love you. No. Excuse me, Queen Elsa. The citizens of the kingdom of Hollywood Land did an excellent job singing along to all of our anthems. While well, looking fantastic in their face coverings. That's wonderful. You make all of Arendelle very proud. Again. I think it's over. You want to get some food? Let's go. Yes. Thank you, Eric and you, Aria, the royal historians of Arendelle. We're having a good service. <laughs> Elsa, today is the Arendelle Festival. Yes, Anna. And I know the perfect way to help celebrate. <laughs>
so very proud. Thank you all so much for coming. Great job. Come on, come on. Let's go find Sven. Thank you all for coming.